Hi everyone! Today we're going to talk about someone named Lisa Meitner. She was a physicist who was born November 7th, 1878 in Vienna, Austria. In 1901, Lisa Meitner enrolled at the University of Vienna to study physics. Five years later, she became the second woman ever to obtain a doctorate in physics, and then after that, she was the first woman ever to become a professor of physics. Here, she met and began working with Otto Hahn, a chemist. They worked together for 30 years until 1938, when she was forced to flee the country because of her Jewish-Austrian heritage. She moved to Sweden, but continued to collaborate by mail with Otto Hahn and his laboratory partner, Fritz Strassmann. With her guidance, they continued through a series of grueling experiments that led to the discovery of nuclear fission. So what is nuclear fission? You've probably heard it described as splitting the atom, and indeed it is. Let me show you. This is the atom. This is the atom without any electrons. I'm taking the electrons off for simplicity's sake because we don't really care what they're doing in this particular reaction. This is a neutron. This atom is highly unstable. The neutron acts sort of like a bullet. It collides with the unstable atom and causes it to break apart. It breaks apart into two smaller atoms and also causes other neutrons to scatter. There's other little stuff given off, like alpha and beta particles, but we're not going to worry about those. Going back to those scattered neutrons, now that they are wild and free, they have the opportunity to collide with other unstable atoms. So then those unstable atoms give off more wild and free neutrons, and then the wild and free neutrons bump into more unstable atoms, and then the unstable atoms are wild and free neutrons, and then there's just boom. This reaction also gives off a lot of energy. How much energy, you ask? Well, to put it in perspective, wood, when burned, gives off about 20 kilojoules per gram. Oil will give off about 42 kilojoules per gram. Our reaction? 80 million kilojoules per gram. Wow. Now, going back to our scientists, they had just discovered nuclear fission. Hahn then published their results without listing Meitner as a co-author, a move she understood given their current political climate. While it is said that Hahn meant to give Meitner credit later once the political chaos had died down, he never did. So. 1944 rolled around, and Hahn received a Nobel Prize in chemistry, while Meitner remained unnamed. It is the general consensus that Meitner deserved that Nobel Prize, and the Nobel Committee not giving it to her was one of the biggest screwed up screw-ups they ever screwed up on. <sighs> Later, she moved to the UK and spent the remainder of her days working part-time and lecturing. The end.